All right, the purpose of this video real quick is just to show you how to use a team calendar in Go High Level and then also set up a round robin distribution or different types of distribution based upon uh, availability or maybe even a weighted distribution. So we are in the calendar section. This is the new Go High Level layout. We have Jane Doe and John Doe's calendar. Uh, you're probably thinking, where is the button to click on the team calendars? Uh, pretty brutal. It's not here. What we're going to do though is we're going to go over to staff. So hit settings if you're not already there. Head over to my staff. You'll notice I have added a series of staff numbers here. Uh, what we want to do up top here, you see teams. We need to make a team first before we can have a team calendar. So we're going to make a team. Team info. Let's go team doe. So this is going to be Jane Doe and John Doe. We're going to leave this checked. And then calendar team configuration. So team doe. For whatever reason, Go High Level wants you to populate all this stuff. So team doe calendar. And then it does like you to fill out this little area. It calls this a slug. Not 100% what this does. 100% sure what this does. Uh, interesting note here, if you want to auto-assign the contact, this would be the time to do it. So if you have people coming in and you also want to assign the contact, maybe you're using that permission type setting, this would be the way to tweak that. I'm going to go ahead and just leave that empty right now. And we're going to push on. So we have a team. Now let's go back to calendars. Okay, check it out. Now we have Team Doe showing up. Uh, now we need to add a team calendar. So this is where it's a little confusing, but just click new calendar. Uh, and now, boom, the calendar interface looks almost like it did before. We're going to name this calendar now, Team Doe Calendar. I know it looked like we already named it before. It gets a little redundant, but... Uh, and then it's going to want this slug again. So I'm going to put that in. Uh, again, I'm just kind of making up a value there. Uh, and then up here, let's check the top. So we've got optimized for availability, and then we've also got optimized for equal distribution. Uh, and then you can also change the priority. You know, so if this person was more of a high priority person, this would push more appointments to them. If you set both people to low priority, this is just going to be a true round robin. So and this is going to take us through the traditional calendar settings up top. So if you notice, you've got availability. And then you've got confirmation. So all of the normal looking calendar functions, I'm going to go ahead and remove, please call our office. And then I'm going to hit complete. So pretty easy deal here. We've got the team calendar here. We can come over here. We can hit edit. And you know, we can get in there and we can change the distribution up here. We can change the meeting location. We can connect Zoom or Google Meet. Uh, but kind of the same as a, a normal calendar. Let's take a look at what it looks like if somebody books on here. So let's click the blue link. And this is what it's going to look like. So now the question is, who gets the lead, right? So let's say we book an 11 o'clock appointment. Let's book this appointment for Tim Simpson. Now we're going to go 216. Let's see who gets the Tim Simpson lead. So now let's go into the system. Let's go under contacts. Let's just go check out this Tim Simpson deal. Uh, so he got immediately added to the system. Got assigned to user Jane Doe. So let's go take a peek at Jane Doe's calendar. And that's what we're really looking for is did this lead get auto-rotated to Jane Doe. That is the Joe Doe calendar. Here's Jane, so Tim Simpson. So if we book the next appointment on that team calendar, it's going to push to Joe. So it's just going to go back and forth on the round robin. So pretty easy little deal there. Uh, a lot of different little tweaks if you mess with some of the settings in here. But that's really the big way to set up the team calendar on here. Uh, biggest thing, I'll kind of run through it one more time, is you have to go to my staff. And you have to make a team first. So you can't make the team calendar and you can't make a round robin or set any of that up if you don't make a team. And you can just make as many teams as you want too. So that might be something else fun is you could make a customer service team. You could make a lead follow-up team. You could make, uh, you know, any team to round robin those inbound leads. Uh, so that is how you set up a team calendar and go high level.